Hello and welcome. I'm Luxmi Gopal. Welcome to Verified Live, which is three hours of breaking stories and checking out the truth behind them. So let's start with the news that the Princess of Wales has had planned abdominal surgery and will be in hospital for up to a Sarah Campbell, who's a, a royal correspondent. Sarah, what more do we know at this stage? Well, this was very much a surprise uh, statement released by Ken Sarah, thank you. That's our royal correspondent, Sarah Campbell, there. Pakistan has recalled its ambassador to Iran in response. Busy the royal timetable of uh, events was for the foreseeable for both the Princess of Wales and the King? Well, engagements um, for security reasons. Up to date there, that's our royal correspondent, Sarah Campbell. And just to reiterate for those of you just uh, joining us, a statement from Buckingham Palace has been issued in just the past. Thinking there that perhaps is Iran sending a message of strength both, both internationally and domestically? Uh, Janelle and Kirsty, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> uh, what, so what are people trying to do to get this cup? What is, what is this cup? What's happening? So my hands on this cup. <laughs> yeah, and it's not even a new company. It's, it was made in 1913. So it's quite an old company, Stanley. Um, it's had, last year it had its a partner, had some personalised cups. And um, the craze kind of started off from there. People were like, I want... And uh, so no one's making videos about uh, the cups leaking, though, are they? Oh, they are. Oh, they yes. are. Creators okay. are, yeah. Stanley aren't. So oh, they, yeah, yeah. They were... That uh, TikTok has influenced people to buy the product, and it's good news for the business, but but equally, you know, it can be the other the other way as well, can't exactly. it? Exactly, and rivals will use this as an opportunity to get their product out there mm. by per perhaps, I've seen some videos of creators with a Stanley Cup showing that it's leaking and then showing another product. Source, explain to someone who has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a new, is that how you even say it? I don't know. <laughs> that is how you say it, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a little play on words. Also like the ketchup, yeah, like what you put on your chips. Um, just because, you know, it's a bit sauce. What are some of the topics coming up on the rest of your podcast? A good little tease ahead of what's ahead. Thank you both, Thank Janelle you. and Kirsty. Now it's time for a look at the weather forecast with Stab. If you know your Michaels, you'll know that was Michael Morpurgo. But now here is Michael Rosen. It's not surprising news to anyone that reading is important for children, but how do you think we translate that into ensuring that they are being read to by their families? Because this is what the, uh, the research has shown, hasn't it? Yes, it's... Uh, it's reforms, including uh, their £67 million English Hubs programme, is helping to ensure more children leave primary school with a grasp of reading. What more do you think specifically could be done to get to that stage where children are being read to by their families more regularly. And you get that from, if you like, learning the sound of it, even if you're just repeating as a two, three-year-old, if you're reading where the... Was it got you excited about reading when you were younger? I think you... Do it. <laughs> get away, Nutkin. And he did. That was Michael Rosen, former Children's Laureate, speaking to me a little earlier. Now, some children with leukaemia are benefiting from a new drug which makes their, their treatment much less aggressive. As well as being gentler on the body than chemotherapy, medication can be administered at home.